I'm standing in Victoria Station in London and as you can see, there is massive competition for Wi-Fi connectivity. You know, just standing in the same place, signal strength is all over the place. Now, any kind of connectivity is problematic in these circumstances. Delivering a really good video experience, uh, that could be a headache. What can we do about it? Let's head back to the studio and find out. For video and audio streaming, the web provides access to over 3 billion devices. But, as you know, connectivity can be flaky and changeable, and bandwidth is often limited. To cope with real-world connectivity, we have an open standard for video streaming and download called Dash. With Dash, you deliver video in segments over a normal HTTP connection. Each segment is made available at a variety of bit rates, resolutions, and formats. Depending on the bandwidth and device capabilities, the client chooses the best possible version. Dash does what it says, dynamic, adaptive streaming and download. And HTTP enables content delivery with all the advantages of HTTP without the disadvantages of a traditional streaming server. No proprietary protocols or hardware required. So, What's the best way to do Dash on the web? Let's find out. Rolling your own adaptive video solution can be complex. Shaka Player is a simple to use JavaScript library from Google that enables you to deliver the best possible video and audio to a cheap low res phone on 3G or a high spec laptop on gigabit fiber and everything in between. Shaka is plug-in free and built on web standards, so it works on billions of devices. Let's dive straight in and build a video player with Shaka. First up, install polyfills for legacy browsers, then create a Shaka player for the video element on the page and add an error handler in case something goes wrong. Provide the address of the dash manifest. Now, this is the XML file that describes the alternatives for each segment of video. One thing you'll notice from the manifest is that dash enables alternative formats for the same content and bitrate. In this example, WebM as well as MP4. Now that's great for media delivery to a range of devices. Next, we create a bandwidth estimator using the Shaka utilities. And this is crucial for dynamically adapting to network conditions. And finally, load all that in the Shaka player. And that's it, adaptive streaming in just a few lines of code. Now, on the back end, you'll need to encode and package your content ready for streaming. There are several open source tools available which can be used to convert content to a valid segmented file and generate a manifest. To find out more about Dash packaging and encoding, take a look at the links at the end of the video. Shaka Player also enables delivery of protected content using the EME APIs to get licenses and do decryption. And Shaka supports multilingual content for audio tracks and subtitles. The best way to learn more about Shaka's capabilities is to download the Shaka project. Run the build tools which create example apps and optimize the JavaScript code. On Linux and Mac systems, run all.sh. The documentation has more information about building on Windows. I'd recommend you look through the HTML and JavaScript for the Shaka test app. The Shaka GitHub repo has other resources to help you get started. There are several excellent tutorials and a test app that exercises all the capabilities of Shaka Player. If you find bugs or have feature requests, please file issues on the repo. Thanks for watching. See you there.